Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the inaugural episode of the first, as far as I know, correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar talk show, which I've titled For the Continuum Conversations. It's supposed to follow, you know, the same outline or format as any other talk show, except that maybe just a little bit more in depth. And of course, it will have I will have guests on here who have something to do with quantum grammar, with correct sentence structure, communication, parse syntax grammar. We'll find out about them, uh, how they've used it or how it affects their personal lives, their story, what prompted them to want to learn it, so on and so forth. And for this episode, I have a very special guest. Um, I can name this man as a good friend, a student, but more importantly, a brother. And his name is Colon Ricardo Colon Marseille. And uh, he runs a channel and a brand named Raise Wisdom. You can check out those links in the description of this video. Now, he emailed me on October 28th of 2019 and pretty much just said that he wanted to learn it all. That he wanted to learn it all, learn all the grammar to help his community. And we were off and running. We did workshops. Uh, we did some other work together. We've collaborated on videos. We've become very good friends since then. And I do count the man as a brother. And he's the only individual on my YouTube channel I link to his channel on my channel. And I don't do that for just anybody. Matter of fact, I don't do it for anybody except for him. Because you have to have a high degree of accuracy, performance, trust, and of course, those three principles, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. With my position and my perception, Ricardo exhibits all of those things 100%. So without further ado, let's get to the interview. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to begin with, we have... As I mentioned in the intro, our guest here, Colin Ricardo, Colin Marseille. And uh, I'd just like to give a little background from my perspective on you, Ricardo. Um, pull up a, the very first email that I ever received from you, sent on October 28, 2019, where uh, you voiced your volition for why you wanted to learn the grammar and get involved in it and why you contacted me. And you pretty much just said... Uh, You wanted to teach it. You wanted to learn it so that you could teach it to those in your community. Does that sound about right? Yeah, something like that in that nature, yes. Well, if you could just give the viewers and myself a little bit of background on you, your history, as much as you want to share, and a little bit more details on, on that email. Well, I initially, uh, how I got into quantum grammar was... Um, I was looking for a solution to be able to get around. And um, that was uh, one of the biggest hurdles because uh, I never really had a, what you would call a uh, a driver's license per se. I don't know if I tell you that or not, but um, my driver's license was actually mailed to me. Um, I never really went to the DMV and got a driver's license just because I was driving, just, just driving and I get, pull over so many times and they decided to just send me one. And um, shortly after they, they, they suspended it and then and revoked it. And so I still had to get around and uh, I, I, I contacted a few lawyers to try to find a solution and um, I couldn't get any solution, any help. And they told me flat out that there's nothing they could do about it. And so, you know, I was looking for something to be able to uh, move around without getting hassled. And so I looked into the law. Um, I believe the first the, the first uh, platform I went into was uh, TJ's. Uh, you probably heard of TJ website in his- um, You are law? You are law, 
correct. Mm-hmm. And um, I followed him for a, a few months. I was a member in his uh, website uh, meeting page. And I wasn't quite satisfied with, with uh, his teaching, although uh, I, I've, I've tried, I've attempted some of his uh, teachings. And it was just still like, uh, when I'm in the court and I don't speak, I don't speak the language, and and I'm listening to them using big words, and I'm like, okay, I would like to use these words too, but I don't know what they mean per se, uh, in the sense that um, I'm I'm not sure, you know, how to utilize them, and um, and I I, I heard about quantum grammar uh, prior to getting into uh, TJ's meeting. And he would he would also talk about it, and um, I would always always ask him about it if he could uh, create a group where we learn this stuff. And um, I never got a clear answer, but um, I remember one time I saw a link to your channel on his website, and I clicked on it, and that's how I got in contact. I got your contact info, and uh, I expressed uh, uh, my situation. Well, that that reminds me of, I don't know if it was you or if it was someone else that told me that a link to my YouTube videos were actually in the paid members section of TJ's uh, website, which was very interesting. Yeah, if you scrolled, it was all the way in the bottom. And um, that's what I found, yeah. But one thing I wanted to bring up was the juxtaposition of the fiction versus the fact that you were talking about the language when you walk into court they were using all these quote-unquote big words and things like that well the whole thing with that is that they go to school for seven plus years to learn the lingo their own whatever you want to call it secret little language in their secret little club and so what i think you know what attracted me to quantum grammar was that it's the same principle only it's more sound we're learning a technology so that we can create our own courts and our own jurisdictions. But we have closure on the grammar that anyone can come in and participate with it. And so on that same note, do you feel comfortable sharing with the viewer any actual firsthand experiences you've had using quantum grammar in such venues? Oh, as you know, uh, I, I, I used quantum grammar the first years I, I, I got. Uh, <laughs> and, um, instantly, I noticed the dynamic, how, how it, 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 it's, um, if you know me, um, I'm very um, sensitive to certain um, uh, changes. And, um, and I noticed immediately how they, they completely changed their demeanor when I first used it and they ignored me. And and and, and, and I remember the first time I, I even was uh, attempting to use it and uh, I send in some from uh, Gabby once I'm to them. <laughs> and when I got to the court, they didn't even let me speak. Uh, I was about to speak and it was already a public defendant there. And tell me to shh. And then he started speaking, I'm like, and then he asked for, uh, you know, they do their thing in there. And then they just bring me back. And um, I, did, I didn't get to say anything. I said, okay, uh, uh, I'm not gonna participate in it like this again. Uh, the next time I go in there, I'm gonna make sure my voice is heard. After, you know, um, as, as you know, I learned how to use the mailing and, 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 and jurisdiction of, of the contract and even even at my early learning stage it, when, when i would use it and go to court they would simply ignore me or try to talk over me or uh, do do things that um abnormal and 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 it's it, it's a long story uh how i used it how i learned how uh the, the system works and and the what what they use to confuse you and discredit you when they suspect that you are using something that they're, they're unfamiliar with. And so 
uh, I gradually, as you know, I, I, I learn it and, and I, I love it and uh, no, nothing could stop me then after I, I learned the basics, I just, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't participate in anything that has to do with the fiction. And when I go in there, and a, a very critical part of the quantum grammar, I think you, 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 you actually pointed that out to me, the peace point neutral relation um, claim, when, when, when you utilizing this technology is, is, I think it's crucial because a guy like me, what, what I've been through, what I've seen, and, and the way they, they just come rushing up on you, but they, they, they never attempted that since I, been using the peaceful and neutral position with the quantum grammar. So I find that very potent um, position with the quantum grammar and, and uh, with your navigation with it. And that's what, I, that's what I see. That's what I have a sense of. That's what I was going to lead into. And, I'm, and you went right into it anyway. So it's those three principles, the balance, of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. You know, uh, all the tricks they do, they change my court days, try to uh, confuse me. And um, every time it would be a different, uh, either case number, name change, you know, the little trickery they use. And then they and, erase it from the record as if it didn't even exist. They, they forged my signature and everything. And the um, uh, reason why, um, Getting back to what you, you 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 asked about, they had actually put put out warrants for me on purpose for for no reason at all, like eighty thousand dollars worth of warrant. So I I, as you know, I wrote my contract, sent it to the uh, 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 courthouse, and walk in there with with the warrant, and um, speaking only quantum grant. Well, well, well uh, I claim the position um, I'm coming in with, and 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 I give them proper notice. And um, and I would walk in there with the warrant and just ask them to stop and correct if they want a contract with me. Here, I've already filed my documents here since since um, this is the source of this of this matter. And I came in and perform, and they actually go into the realm of the court and do certain. Um, <laughs> I don't think I want to. Uh, expose that here, I think this is something that uh, uh, people, if, if, if they hear it, they, they, may, they may get the misconception of it. So um, um, I established my, my position in the realm of the court and you could just see the confusion in most of the of people's face in there. And, uh, the, and, and I'm talking in quantum grammar and, and the judge said, uh, I kept saying that the avoidance of perjury that uh, the correct sense and structure communication partially syntax grammar. And the prosecutor was like, Judge, he's not listening to you. <laughs> yeah, he got he got multiple warrants. Uh, arrest him. The judge couldn't do anything. He just he just he, he was with his pen like this. Just going <laughs> like this. <laughs> And then, and then, and then the, 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 uh, so some other people came and just start talking, well, we got to move into the next case. And that's, that's basically how it happened. And I just walked out of there. And then they sent me another yeah, court date. And they keep changing it right, right before the court date. So I had to keep on sending them contracts. See, the trick is with, when they change the court date, you simply take that date and give them notice that you're coming as you come to visit them at, on this day uh, and, and put your contract of course and um and in the beginning i i seen him so many <laughs> so many of my life life claim with the orig like what, original ones that I create i seen him so many of them now that, that the whole court system probably know know me by now <laughs> because i always send him my life life claim with the contracts which I later found out I didn't have I didn't really have to do it. Just one is enough. They, they they got the message. Well, and to put it in a, a general sense, what Ricardo's talking about, uh, without, as you say, you know, going into the details of it, what Ricardo did before he went there was he posted his roads. 
He let them know, gave them ample notice that he was coming in correctly, 12B7 through 12B1, with the flag mechanics, banking mechanics, postal mechanics, and he mailed himself in there. Now, once he's in there, he has jurisdiction over his four corners, his contract, as he's talking about. And I, you know, I'm not going to assume for the judge or anything like that. Um, but what I can reasonably guess happened was he couldn't do anything because he had no jurisdiction over you or the contract. Right, right. That's exactly what um, what what I'll always happened when I go to court. Now is now they don't they don't even um, bother me anymore. And um, and isn't it, that the whole? reason right one of the greatest benefits of it is that they stop bothering you right exactly and and, and, and i drive around um, i make my own uh, contract uh, uh i get closure to i have my own tag my i, get, I have a reg registration contract um and, and they're behind me all the time now they, they they don't pull me over or anything and um I know it's because of uh, my, as I stood my ground, I didn't budge, and 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 it's it's very intense in there. Like every time I go in there, they would you could you could obviously see I'm being set up because of they would wait, but they would wait till the very last minute of the day, very last case to call my case, and uh, I I'm usually like the last one in the courtroom, and there's usually a whole bunch of them trying to you know, cause confusion and shouting and yep. call me. They call me by Miss, Mr. Marseille, Mr. Marseille. I ignore him. I don't, even, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even answer them anymore. And, um, and, and, and it, 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 it seems like the right thing to do because um, like, I, as I said before, <laughs> I'll go to court and I would have somebody beside me representing me, have no idea of, uh, what's going on and um i just have to sit there and listen to them but now I, I i can perform i can go to court the more the more i do it the more i can do it i find and and the more ease i get with it and and the, the learning the grammar is, is is the one single most important thing after the um i would say the peaceful neutrality is is equally important, but um, learning the basics of the grammar is the one important thing. And you'll be able to create your life, I find, and navigate. Without that, they'll just do whatever they want with you. And they will test you. They, they, they test me so many different ways. Mm -hmm. I've been attacked in every angle possible you could imagine. They even come and try to track me down in my neighborhood. <laughs> Well, I was riding a bike and they just trying to pull up on me and um, I would just, um, you know, get away from them. They're trying to uh, uh, fish me back into the, the fiction co uh, uh, construct. And uh, I find the less you say in there is your best bet. And as long as uh, you have your contract um, with the registered mail, uh, that that right there give you uh, uh, some some kind of a uh, I would say claim and and protection against you know their shenanigans. Well, the difference between correct sentence structure and say, for example, going into a a foreign vessel and dry dock like that using common law with uh, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble is that you have closure on the grammar and the terms and conditions of what you're doing. And you have such a depth of closure on it that you're willing to sit there and teach, literally put on a class for everyone in that courtroom if they ask for it. Oh, yeah. That's oh, the yeah. depth of closure that you have on your terms. Yeah. Yep. I just wanted to point that out, that that's really important when you use it. Because I know a lot of people, just to be blunt about it, think they can go off hat cocked and this is like some magic silver bullet that if you just use this template from this certain book or that you bought for from this certain person and, and use it is probably not going to end up very well for you You have to know the grammar right 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 and, and, and the, 
they won't back down because they they they, 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 they don't want a situation where you, <laughs> the, 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 the judge walk out um leave, leave the court so they'll they'll use everything in their power to to they, they like I said, man, they, they use so many different tactics, I mean, coercion, all of that. But like I said, forge my signature, give me uh, the warrants for no reason, uh, high bail. I didn't give it, I, I didn't, I didn't care. I, I just, I, I, every time I had a court date and that's what motivated me to study even more and, and longer and harder. And to the point that, um, I, I, you know, I, I really didn't, didn't care. I'm going in there. I don't. I didn't. I don't even have anybody with me when I go. In. <laughs> that's how. That's Which how. Which is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because that when as I'm learning it and I'm breaking down the words they're using and I'm trying now because I used to go to the courtroom and sit down and watch them uh, just for, for for research purposes and 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 they would always use it would be. Uh, Boys that come in the court realm and just started talking all oh, kind of big ass gigantic words, and sometimes they speak it so much and um, I can't help myself but to laugh. So I would run out of the courtroom just to laugh <laughs> because all the words that they're using means nothing. And I knew then I got them. I got. Uh, what I was looking for, which is this technology that will enable me to navigate without getting raped, basically. And I do highly recommend that if the viewer is interested in this grammar, to go ahead and go into your local courtrooms and just sit and watch the proceedings, watch how the mechanics work in that foreign vessel and dry dock. Uh, when I was first learning in 2017, and I was communicating with Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller, he actually told me, go ahead, go down to your local court, and just sit there and watch. Yeah. And I did that. And sure enough, just like David said in his videos, the yeah. judge, every single time someone came up to the podium, said, what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the one day uh, there was a, some case going on, uh, a domestic violence case, I think it was. And the judge was asking around the courtroom, who here in the courtroom is affiliated with this case? And he saw me sitting in the back and he said, you, are you with this case? And I just shook my head and he said, why are you here? And I said, I'm here to learn. And that guy actually stood up and bowed and said, well, enjoy. And sat back down. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> but. I know I don't want to keep you too long. I know you got uh, places to be and things to do. I wanted to finish up with just asking you what it is, if if anything, do you have plans for in the future regarding correct sentence structure? Uh, do you have anything you're going to do with it or, or any um, projects in the works, maybe? Yeah, I, have, I do have a course that um, um, I'm working on. And it has been a lot of stories with that course where I haven't released it yet. And it, it's still a, it's still a, 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 in the works. Um, I had to revise it. I had to start from scratch. But um, I do have a course coming up um, in the near future. And um, in my channels, I'll be releasing some quantum grammar videos alongside with um, the uh, other videos I released on there. If you're familiar with my work, you'll, you'll know what kind of uh, content that I put out there. And you guys know my uh, YouTube channel. And if you're interested, you could go ahead and check it out. And one thing I will say, as I said in the intro, um, Ricardo is the only individual on the internet that I affiliate with <clears throat> or put on my channel, which means that I do certify what it is that he does. I know he's going to put out quality content. I know he's going to follow those three principles. We're like brothers. And yeah. it's, I think it's awesome that there are two teachers out there because different strokes for different folks. Yeah. I mean, I have a certain teaching style. You have a certain teaching style. But what we can do 
is two is certification and we certify each other. It's the same way that uh, with myself and, and my tutor, Raven, um, everything that I did for the first, geez, like two years, I ran past him. I would make a video, I would send it to him and he'd say, oh, this, this, and this is wrong. And I'd be so mad and I'd have to go back and edit it and fix it. And that was like grueling. And I, you know, I hope I didn't put Ricardo through that too much, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was like two years of that until finally it clicked. And yeah. I'm, I'm happy to say that it's awesome that you are doing what you're doing and we're both out there and there are strength in numbers. You just have to be able to trust the individual that you're, you're in there with. And I certainly trust you, my friend. Right. Same, same here. You, uh, uh, I've made videos before that I, have, I haven't released where I, I express um, uh, the trust account that we have. And um, when I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that stays on social media all, all year long to find out what he say, she say. But uh, I came across what what um, uh, this guy Russell, with Russell J. Gould, calling Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould, so, and um, and 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 you know it, it, what interests me is is that he badmouthed a, a lot of people from from what I see um, that's out there from him and um, I, I never really like uh, paid attention to it until until I saw my my name and your name on, on and I, I had to that just I found it hilarious at the same time, and I wasn't playing with him because um, he he's not teaching me or any anyone else for that matter what what I know to be true about quantum grammar. And so when when I saw the mention of my name and and just you, you know, you like a brother to me, and you know, I I just felt like okay, I. I I got I, I got I got to send a message out there about what's going on here because um here we are tr trying to you know, we 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 being peaceful and neutral and we sharing knowledge and you got this other guy that's supposed to be doing the same but is doing the complete opposite and, and on top of that he's bashing us so um I had. It, that that had derailed me a little bit because um, I'm not the type that go after people and stuff like that. But um, I did put some, put some content out there to to let to let him and his and his um, viewers know that we, I'm not about that. And if you, if you, if you want some, he's not gonna like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing I can say about that. Is I know exactly what you're talking about. I've also done videos on it, reaction videos and things like that. And I think the bottom line is the difference, you know, different strokes for different folks, like I said, and everybody has a choice as to who they can go to to learn or whatever floats their boat. The difference between you and I and individuals like him is that if you look at that page where he discredits all these people, and there's a lot of people on there. Yeah, I yeah. do know. Well, I mean, I have communicated with the vast majority of the people on that page and they're not bad people. They 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 want to do something good, just like we do and and help people who want to learn. The only difference is they will not submit to his authority. Right. And that's the difference, because when people come to me, I teach autonomy. I don't want you to rely on me. I don't want to create a codependent situation. I want to teach you everything that I know as far as you're motivated to learn it. And then you just go off and you never have to look back and say, is this right? You know, no, you know what it is and you just go. Right. And you're autonomous. You don't need my thumbprint. You don't need my autograph. You don't need my permission to do anything. Yeah. It, 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 and, and it's like, um, if if, if if you fly to somewhere when you get to the airport, you, you don't ride around with the, with a plane uh, around the city. You leave the airport, you leave the plane there, and, and you get where you're going. And, and um, but um, 
the the thing is, I, I don't see that the um, quantum grammar is gonna go viral anytime soon because of the amount of uh, nonsense that's out there about it. Like uh, Crypto Rice had an interview with Russell J. Gould. He had the opportunity to just, you know, actually communicate that to the masses, the people of the world, the globe, what this technology could do. But he he, he went in there trying to, I don't, I don't know what his motivation was, but um, basically babble. And Crypto Rice saw that, saw right right through him, basically, and, and, and called him out on it. And then he bashed him too because of that. I was looking at the website. I actually did a video on that, but I, 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 I don't think I'm going to release it. I don't think it's necessary yet. Um, <laughs> but um, he he put crystal uh, crypto rice mugshot on there. I like, think I remember seeing that. Yeah, he, he. That's another difference. We don't get into mudslinging. That's why we don't release things like that. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. This is the very th cause that we're here for. And this is what this is how this is how you do it. And as I've said in the past, multiple times, what he just did, what you just said, publishing crypto crypto rice's mugshot, that's mudslinging. That's that's fiction tactics. The fiction yeah. does underhanded stuff. The yeah. fiction uses psychological warfare to get you off your square. Mm -hmm. To get you emotional about something, right, right, and and, and he, the thing is, he, he could try that on me. It's not going to work because I, I don't, I don't care what people think or say about me. That that doesn't matter to me. But when it, when I do go after you, I have to make sure I have to make sure you feel it. <laughs> That's right. I mean, it's about it's pre for me. It's pretty much about minding your own business because no one can mind your business like you. But if you're going to come into my biosphere and you're going to create a threat or try to cause harm, because those people, Russell J. Gould and his people have sent me emails, which I have on file, physically threatening me, my family and things like that, which oh. I realized aren't tangible threats. They're just doing yeah. fiction tactics. But if you're going to actually do that and come up in this area, then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I mean, because it's not going to work, and I and and it's all a psychological tactic, right. just like the fiction. If they can get you afraid, if they yeah. can get you afraid, then they control you. See, that dynamic changes too. I just find them funny now, right? You know, you know I, I see, I see all the years they spend in school uh, to learn how to be serious, and I just see right through them. I, I gotta, I gotta really pinch myself not to laugh. <laughs> in some settings because i i the, the world just flip on his head um in my view because uh now i could actually go in there and, and and talk for myself and um that then you're daring somebody to challenge you it, 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 it said before where i was trying to get help from this liar Lawyer, I mean, right here, and, and, and it just, it just changed everything. And again, for the viewer, I just want to say that um, when you go into those scenarios, I always tell people, think about what's the worst thing that could happen, and are you okay with it? Because it could possibly happen. How much yeah. of a bloody nose are you willing to get? Because when you get in there with the fiction, it's like getting into a pigsty. Yeah. The pig doesn't care. You're going to wrestle with the pig. And trust me, by the end of it, you're going to walk out full of poop and mud. Yeah. It's just how long do you want to go on with it? Yeah, yeah definitely. And, and as I mentioned before, they, they because they have so much resources and technique and tactic. Yeah. And you just you just got to um, maintain your ground and, 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 and don't deviate from that. And don't get into their tricks because uh, I find that they, they they really try to manipulate you to the point where you get upset. But me, I just laugh. And here I'd like to interject and say that what you just said there, 
what they're trying to do is to get you to, would you, would it be fair to say they're trying to get you to come under their authority to acknowledge that they have some sort that, of power over you? That's exactly. What Isn't that kind of like what Russell J. Gould does? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they, they went to the same school because that's exactly what, what it is that they do but from my perspective. It's trying to discredit you, make you look, sound like you saying something stupid. <laughs> I just, nah, nah, I, 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 I have a big grin in my face when they try to do that now. Because now I know I could speak, I could say something, I could, I, without, without any fear of, of me saying something wrong or um, incorrectly. Because volition is the most important thing. Even if your grammar isn't 100% correct, if you have correct volition, you will succeed and it will work out the way it's supposed to. Would that be fair to say? Yes, yes, because it's very basic. It's just um, you, you stay in the claim in the correct sense and structure. And, and you ask them to do the same if they would like to, if, if they want you to participate. Well, I'll vacate because we can't contract. You, you don't know how to read and write, right? Like, well, like David say, <laughs> I'll do math. <laughs> so what normally happens then, um, I don't know if the viewer was able to construe this from these stories, but people, I think, get the wrong impression about correct sentence structure when someone, quote unquote, wins. There is no winning. It's just the fiction goes away. Like yeah. if you're in a courtroom setting like Ricardo's talking about and they see that they have no power over you, they can't de deal with you. They just want you to leave. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and all the charges that I had was bundled up to, together. And um, it's a long story. I'm not going to say it here, but um, at the end of the day, they, uh, they, they bought a paper to me, one line, saying $100. <laughs> <laughs> After I spent thousands and thousands of dollars, I got incarcerated so many times because of... Uh, they, 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 they send me court dates that are in different addresses and stuff. And and, and I, I, I didn't know the court dates, so got warrants left and right. And and, and I bond, bond out on them every time. And they put all these charges together. And at the, the last time I went to the court and said, pay a $100 fee to the clerk, then they will put the case closed. And a hundred dollars to go back and study some harder. I took it and I, I, I walked out of there and I got my documents cock and loaded. Yeah, and that's in correct sentence structure would be considered a win, even though there is no winning or losing. You're, it's yeah. a success. We can use it, maybe that word, a successful performance in that. You're not bothered. It take it took a lot of work to get to where that is, that condition of state, but they leave you alone. Probably my guess would be because they see that you're not there to basically mess their world up or anything. You just want to be left alone and right. you leave them alone and everybody right. can be happy. Yeah. And um if 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 it... <laughs> I could almost say they created a monster because of <laughs> They got, they, they got me delving into words, creating my own dictionary. I would never thought in a million years I would create my own dictionary, but I'm here I am. My own dictionary is just uh, ready to navigate in this earth now. And I find out this is the most effective way to do it. And um, spending years, years and years um, without having a license and, and always worrying about, um, you know, some cop come and mess with you because now I have no no fear of that anymore because um I caught them in a lie they know it and I know it and um if if they want to try again I'll I'll be happy to go and perform and teach them the grammar how to read and write how to do math and they're not gonna make me um, convert to their fiction because it's impossible for me to do that. And really, what is a license except a paid permit to do something that would otherwise be illegal? Right. Which we're talking about legalities here, which is all opinion. Yeah. Anyways. 
to make to something put it, illegal, you got to make something illegal. Oh. Right. <laughs> to put it in a negative condition of state, there's really only one rule. Do no harm. Right. Exactly. And with the peace and neutrality position. Are there any final words you'd like to leave our, our viewers today? Well, I think I've already said enough. Just learn the correct procedure of the grammar and um, you'll be fine. If, if, if you could do that, um, you got to have the effort of the world, the world too and, and to actually use it and stop, stop depending on, on others to do stuff for you. You just have to do it yourself, and 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 you you'll you'll get results from that one way or another, either psychologically or or even um physically, mentally, and um you're gonna feel a lot more confident um going out there and do what you want without fearing uh, all the other forces intervening and, and and halting your your progress and what you want to do. And um, I, I would leave this with, with the viewers, is that they will test you to the teeth because um, they, I guess they've been doing that for so long that um, when something new like that comes, they, they throw everything at you. And you just, you just have to be solid and, and learn the grammar. And, and, and trust me, if, if you do it for at least one hour a day, but the next month, I'm pretty sure you have a clean grasp, grasp, and then ready to, you know, take to take the road with it. And I will leave links to Ricardo's Raise Wisdom channel in the uh, description of this video. Uh, if you're with it, I'll leave your your email address down there as well. If people want to contact you. And of course, you know, my email address is always in every video and in every description. And so those are two choices that the viewer, you know, two certified choices that the viewer could have to learn this grammar. Yeah. Yeah. And once you, once you, <laughs> once you get into points of grammar, you just keep going deeper and deeper. Things, there, there are things that you, you wouldn't normally notice. And it just, it's just fascinating to me because um, it never gets bored. I'm never bored when I'm, when I'm doing these works. And do you get the same sensation too? I just keep going. Sometimes I get headaches. I have to break. <laughs> well, I could, let, let me give you a little timeline for my own personal uh, correct sentence structure experience. When I first started learning it and I was talking to David and all that stuff, um, I went around syntaxing everything that I saw Everything that I looked at, I was syntaxing it, speaking it out loud. I go into grocery stores and speak correct sentence structure to people, to the cashier, to whatever. I would wear my CPAS C treaty or what I thought was a CPAS C treaty at the time. I didn't know anything about it, but I wore it anyways. And wanting people to ask me about it so that I had to put myself on the spot and explain it. And then I began, you know, after I got more closure on the grammar, I began purposely putting myself in situations like walking into government vessels, going through TSA checkpoints, uh, military installations and things like that, and uh, having to use it to board different vessels using co only correct sentence structure. And well, I couldn't do that with the TSA agent. I had to have a fiction uh, vessel towed as a salvage, but I did use correct sentence structure. But it's doing these things, getting the knowledge, getting the confidence, being patient, uh, being a steward of your breathing. We didn't even mention that. I wish I would have thought to mention that while you were talking about the court stuff. Yeah. You, you are a steward of the cadence of your breathing and the way you speak slowly, mm -hmm. firmly. You slow it down because they're always trying to rush you through it. Yeah. So everything is in such a hurry and they put stress on you. And yeah. But when you start being a steward of your breathing, you really notice how that just dissipates, right? Yeah, yeah. You see that they're they're really harmless. They're harmless. They're trying very hard. You you can see right through them at this point. You know, yeah. That's 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 what that's what I've noticed. And um, and and what whatever I get into situations with with anybody now, I I'm cognizant of that. 
and um, it, it just sips spill throughout your life um, in all the uh, areas in your life. Just just this technology alone can can do that. So it can have that effect. Well, thank you very much for being my very first guest on this talk show uh, for the continuum conversations, Ricardo. I hope to have you back sometime so we can maybe go into some other things. Yeah, just shoot me a text. Let me know. All right, man. Take it easy, and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for joining me in this inaugural episode of my talk show for the Continuum Hyphen Conversations. Uh, I look forward to doing more shows like this. I'm not sure uh, the consistency of it because as you may or may not guess, um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to coordinate schedules with people. And there's really not that great a selection of guests out there to have on here. If you think, you the viewer, if you think you have a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar related story that you'd like to tell of your own personal experiences, similar to what Ricardo shared in this video, in this uh, show, contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Outside of that, I will be contacting and reaching out to different people out there to see if they will be willing to come onto this geometric level playing field of uh, communication and share their correct sentence structure related stories with you on this show. Thanks for joining me. Good night.